All right, so we just got here, and uh, yeah, it's looking rough. <laughs> the water's looking rough. Look at that. Check it out. It's looking rough. Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm down here at Bait Daddy's with Donnie. Donnie, how's, how's everything looking this week? Oh man, it's looking good. It's a, it's been a nice week. The weather's been great. The surf's been great. So come on out. You know you got You know you want to. You might as well just come on out now. Now one of the things that I did notice is that you have piggy perch, your pig yeah. fish. Yeah, yeah, we do. We started carrying those. Uh, they're great for redfish, trout. Uh, you know, we do pretty good selling those because people, a lot of people don't know that uh, we have them. So just letting everybody know we do have them. If you come on down, we'll get you hooked up. We always have them in stock. So Croker, live shrimp, Yep, pin Croker, fish. shrimp, mud minnows, uh, pinfish. Uh, you know, sometimes we'll keep uh, finger mullet, stuff like that. But, yeah, We try to get everything everybody needs. So what's, where are you located? Uh, 17630 San Luis Pass Road, right here on the west end of Galveston. You know where to go. Come look, you can look us up on Instagram, Facebook, or drop a Google review. All right, check out Donnie. Thanks, guys. When you get fishing. All right, so I got my got my bait bait butler. Super great. I mean, look at this. It brings the shrimp right up to you. In mesh net, they last forever. But look at these shrimp. Look at those guys. Excellent shrimp. I always rock like double aerators. There's one there. There's one. I just took that one off. But yeah, I like these little ones. Little holes for them. Big old air stones. Got my uh, my old faithful. And uh, these landers are this lanyard rocks right here. You know, got my I lost my pliers last time, so I brought my my match trap lanyard this time. Got my float ring. Yeah, I've been wanting to come out last couple days, and I just haven't had to. Look, there's another match trap right here. This is these these things are so well made, all done by hand. Patreon subscriber friend hooking a brother up with that strap. But yeah, um, get this bait out of here. All right, let's uh, let's walk in. You know, it's gonna be windy. All right, I had to take all my housing stuff off. The wind noise is gonna be there because it's pretty windy right now. This the the splash is gonna be on the lens because you know, there's no way around that. Because you know we're fishing in the element elements. Um, so I'm gonna get pushed around, bumped around a little bit. So I try to keep it, uh, try to keep as much off the lens as possible. Water clarity is not too bad at first sight. Uh, I'm about to my knees and I can still see, see my feet. So, but the story of the day is gonna be these waves. It's a nice chop. This is rough. This is very rough condition for sure. Wouldn't this wouldn't be something ideally that I would look at and say hey I want to go fishing that not at all not at all there we go somebody has it oh look like a ladyfish yeah that was just a ladyfish still feel good you can feel the bite though somebody just hit it Feels like a trout. Oh, hope I can get this guy. Yeah, it feels like a nice trout. Might be a bluefish or even a ladyfish, but hopefully it's a trout. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's a trout. Oh, got him. Got him in. Woo! My goodness, that was a lot of cast, buddy. And just right over there where I said the, the ladyfish are kind of hanging out at, or banging at. 
you know just barely have him hooked too just right on the right on the uh, skin of his mouth there and if I get him netted up oh, god goodness up there he goes kind of a small guy probably right be there right at 14 maybe 15 little guy yeah and he's gonna be just just short of 15 there he goes come on see some little ball around it look like it that one in the face there's another another uh, ladyfish I think probably just back where I thought I saw a break surface a minute ago yeah it's another trout Seem like they're closer to this sandbar I'm standing on rather than further away. They might be closer to that other side of the sandbar. Sorry for that. Water on the lens, but like I said, this is what it is, you know? Ugh. It is what it is. Router fishing in the elements and uh, it's gonna happen. This guy's a little bigger, probably gonna be about 15, maybe 15 and a half. A little bigger. That was really stink. Yeah, he's 16. That's a slot. You know, I was putting this, uh, putting this fish in the net, and all I have is a, is a hook on it. And something just bit this hook. And look, check it out. It's just a hook. And this bait fish right here, just, uh, bit just a hook. Just a hook. All I have is a hook on. I'm taking that, that, that trout off. And this bait fish hit the hook. How funny is that? Little guy. All right, so I'm loaded back up, and uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, you know I know, I'm gonna go hit further down, but I'm thinking of going down this way. I was gonna go down further towards the Surfside Jetties, and I'm not far, I'm just like right over San Luis Pass. It's like this first little entrance right here. Christmas Bay is like right across from me. But uh, I think we'll go towards the pass. I see a few trucks over here. I've seen a few trucks come, a few cars come from that direction uh, this morning, uh, just a few minutes ago. So um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where the fish are. <laughs> so honestly, I don't think it's really going to matter too much. The only thing I'm concerned about really is this loose, loose sand. You can see that sand, that sand is thick and loose. Not, this is not four wheel drive. We're gonna roll down here. We're gonna roll this way. We're gonna see what's up. Clear the windows off just a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna see what's up. See what's up down here. I did see a guy come down here just a few minutes ago with a big setup, you know, those big shark, shark setup. But you can see, man, you know, it's, it's a little sandy right here. And then you can see there's a real dirty line, and then on the other side, it's sandy again. So, uh, at least I could see that with these great Waterland sunglasses. So, pick you up a pair today because I can I can really see what's going on now. Uh, just these polarized lenses are, are awesome. Uh, lightweight, feel great. You know, I love these. It kind of traps, keeps all the sun out of the side and even the wind out of the side because I have, like, bad allergies. So, it, it helps. It helps keeping all that stuff out of my eyes. But... Yeah, I just don't really see it making much of a difference moving down. But you never know until you go. All right, so this is literally like 
spot number three. Can't find them. Can't find the fish. Can't find the fish. But, um, yeah, I think this is uh, the last spot. I think we're just, you know, I just move further down the surf. Kind of looking. It's all looking the same. It's all looking the same. Looking sandy. You got the, that dirty water line. So, um, just going to go out here. Throw chunks of bait. And uh, fingers crossed. Wish for the best. Today's fishing day. Last time I was catching, today's a fishing day. So, hopefully, hopefully we'll get them here. It's like 9.30 now. So, it was 8.30 at the last spot. 6.30 at the first spot. 9.30. Right, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, first cast. Oh, that's a nice trout. Ah, oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> nice. First one. like it and I just said it's been a long since I caught a red in the surf so it's pulling so hard I thought it was a big trout but it looks like a small red undersized guy so I keep his head up oh no that's a nice trout that's a real nice trout oh that's a nice trout oh that's a nice trout now I'm trying a little harder to get him to land him oh that's a nice trout come on come on nice trout needed this guy <laughs> Woo yeah oh my god i thought it was like this 18 inch 18 inch red or something oh my god that was literally the first cast here oh, dang it first cast here Woo nice nice trout let's see if we can handle them without losing them this is always a tricky part Look at this guy. Oh my gosh, he's big. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. Oh my god, that is a surf trout. That is a surf trout. She route. Look at that. Look at that. No need to measure that guy. That is a awesome, awesome fish. Awesome fish. Ugh. Awesome fish. Woo! Big guy. Healthy guy. Ah! Ugh. This is what we've been hoping for today. All morning. This is what we've been hoping for today. Right here. Ah! Want to get him in there? There we go. Ooh, another one. Oh, that's a nice trout. That's another nice trout. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, trout. Come on, speckler. Oh, goodness. He's trying to get off. He's trying to get off. He's trying to get off. Don't get off. Don't get off. Don't get off. Don't get off. <laughs> Don't get off. Ah. Don't get off. Don't get off. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 he came out of the net. He came out of the net. Ah, these freaking waves, man. Pushed him right out. Got him now. Got him again. Ah, these waves. Beat me up. Beating me up. He might be close. He might be close. Probably, oh man. Probably really close. Maybe 16. Yeah, he's probably going to be 15. He's gonna be close. He's right at 15. Way too close to take any chances for sure. Definitely a nice surf trout. Nevertheless, his size, definitely a decent guy. Ah, goodness. Throw him real fast so I can get him off. But yeah, nice, decent trout. Got a little chewed up on his tail a little bit. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's a good one. 
Ooh, he broke water surface. He broke water surface. He might be a shark. We'll see. Uh, he's shaking his head like a trout, though. But, yeah. Yeah, I think he's a trout. T-Route. It's a good one. It's better than the last one I caught. Let me see if I can get him up. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a nice trout. It's a nice big surf trout. This is the one. This is the one they write fairy tales about. Oh, oh goodness. That wave's gonna mess me up because they get slack in the line. So, where's it at? Where's it at? Whoa, oh, my goodness. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, trying to get him before another wave comes. This is a good one, though. Really big guy. Really big guy. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I got him. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. This might be. Uh, my personal best right here and the personal best 25 inches this guy might be it um, I'm gonna get out of this water and handle them normally I wouldn't harvest the big trout I do CPR on them but uh, in order for me to handle them I'm gonna have to get out of here just because he's so big so there's not gonna be any kind of CPR here Dang it, see that wave just smashed me. So, for those that uh, believe in CPR, trust me, I have released, caught and released way more fish than I've ever harvested. So I apologize, but yeah, this guy is going to, uh, this guy's gonna not make it. Just because I already know it's a, it's a big one. Uh, he might be closer to 22 to, than 20, 24, but typically like around 20. Yeah, those are those are great to release. Not quite my personal best. This guy's gonna be probably about 24, 24 and a half. Not my personal best, but what an awesome, awesome fish to catch on a very, a very slow day. You know what that's gonna do it today you know I had a tremendous amount of fun out here in the surf you know it's it was a slow day you know not the amount of fish I have hoped to catch but definitely the quality of fish that I expect to catch when I'm using great bait like that nice strong shrimp that are kept right by bait daddies lively I mean, I, they're still alive. I mean, it's 11 o'clock. I put them in that bait bucket around 6, 6.15, and they're still alive. They're still kicking. They're still big. They're still nice. Uh, had a couple die off. Fed them to the little little seagulls over here. They're kind of hanging out, wanting uh, wanting some more shrimp. But the water is great. You know, still sandy, still really good. So um, if you have the opportunity to come out, come out. You might get beat up a little bit by the waves. <laughs> when you get out here but if the water is sandy if the water is clean then you got to get out here i had a wonderful day guys thanks for coming out here fishing with me you know my wife always gets mad if i'm fishing alone but i don't feel like i'm fishing alone i'm out here with you guys i'm out here with every single one of you and hopefully you're out here with me too um 
I, I, I feel the love. I have wonderful, great viewers, great subscribers, great patrons. I feel the love every single time, uh, every single video. So thanks, guys. Don't forget, mash the like button, subscribe button. Follow me on social media platforms as well. You want to be a patron, be a patron. They're getting this fishing review, this fishing report, rather, ASAP. I get back to the house, toss it up. Give them the exact location where I walked in at. And uh, yeah, they get it. They get it it's when they can use it. So today's Friday. I want them to be able to come out here tomorrow if the conditions kind of hold up. So anybody, any of my patrons that are wanting to fish on the weekend, try to give them that intel ASAP. But thanks, guys. Till next time. Hope you catch me hooking up.